First woman to file sex assault lawsuit against Deshaun Watson comes forward, second woman is named. The first of 22 women to file a sexual assault and harassment lawsuit against Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson spoke out on Tuesday, coming forward publicly in response to the defense team's questions over the accuser's identities. At a news conference in attorney Tony Busby's downtown high-rise office, licensed massage therapist Ashley Solis shared her experience as a woman who is now struggling in her profession in the aftermath of the alleged assault. Busby then distributed pages of documents showing messages that he claims Watson sent to some of his clients, and his associates named a second woman who filed one of the lawsuits. Solis said she now has difficulty touching patients without shaking, and on several occasions she has had to end sessions early. Her father was once a diehard Texans fan but can no longer say Watson's name without turning red, she said. We were all deceived into thinking that Deshaun Watson was a great guy, Solis said. Unfortunately we know that good guys can do terrible things. Watson's attorney, Rusty Hardin, did not let the press conference go unanswered. He released a lengthy statement, claiming Busby sought $100,000 to settle Solis' allegations just one month before he filed her suit. Separately, he said Busby has not turned over any of the documents he shared with the media. Hardin has previously criticized Busby for failing to give him the names of his clients, which he says prevents him from investigating the claims. The quarterback, who is separately seeking an exit from the Texans, has denied the allegations. Busby recalled how Solis came to him a few months ago, prompting him to at first discourage her from coming forward because he knew there would be a public reaction. But after he filed the lawsuit on March 16, another 21 women approached him with cases, he said, and his team has turned away five others because he couldn't substantiate their claims. Solis said Watson assaulted and harassed her at a session on March 30, 2020 at her Houston home. In her lawsuit, she said Watson repeatedly asked her to focus on his groin area and at one point exposed his fully erect penis to her, touching her hand with it. She immediately ended the massage and was shocked and mortified by Watson's behavior, she said in the litigation. The suit claims Watson responded to the woman's cries by telling her, I know you have a career and a reputation, and I know you would hate for someone to mess with yours, just like I don't want anyone messing with mine. Solis, 31, did not take questions at the news conference and declined further comment over the phone.